Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to a range test of the Sangyong Corando Emotion. Yeah, a hey, Sangyong, you don't drive that every day, do you? But anyway, a range test, so you know what that means. I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions and I will do one test at 130 km per hour. The car is being charged to 100% at the moment. The WLTP range of this car is 339 kilometers. So let's see if it can do that. The conditions are good. It is dry, the roads are dry, and it is 12 degrees Celsius right now. And the minimum temperature will be around 8 degrees Celsius. So not very cold. And this car does have a heat pump as standard, as they told me. So that should help with efficiency. Again, the WLTP range is 339 kilometers. Let's see if it can do that. I am cruising along on this quiet Thursday evening and the car has used 25% state of charge and on those 25% I have driven around 75 kilometers. So the range right now it looks like is around 300 kilometers, which is not bad because well the WLTP range again is 339 kilometers. Consumption at the moment let me look, is 19.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is not really impressive. But again, this car should have a heat pump as standard, but the car is using around one to two kilowatts. It fluctuates a little bit. Sometimes it is 800 watts, then it is two kilowatts to heat up the cabin to 23 degrees Celsius. And two kilowatts for a heat pump it's quite a lot, so I doubt if this car has a heat pump and otherwise it's not really efficient. And yes, I have the temperature on 23 degrees. Normally I have it on 21, but in this car I need to have it on 23 to have it, well, to have a comfortable climate in here. Besides that, the temperature outside at the moment is 12 degrees Celsius and well, there's no wind. It is actually a very, very lovely day. I am still cruising along on this quiet Thursday evening. The car has used 50% state of charge and on those 50% I have driven 148 kilometers. So yeah, very simple math, around 300 kilometers, 296 to be precise. Yeah, the car is actually being very consistent. The consumption has gone down to 18.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So I will just keep on going. So I finished my 90 km per hour test, so let's get to the results. I started this test with 100% state of charge. That does not happen a lot. And I arrived here at the charger with 21%. So that means I've used 79%. On those 79% I have driven 232 km. So if I do the calculation, you can do on one state of charge in these conditions 293 km. Keep in mind, this car has a usable battery capacity of around 56 kilowatt hours. So, 293 kilometers, not bad. Also keep in mind that the WLTP range of this car is 339 kilometers. So yeah, in summer, in more warmer conditions, I think you can get that or at least get very close. The consumption of this car during this test was 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is not very efficient, but it is also not the worst car I have tested. It's, it's middle of the road, it's middle of the road. So yeah, and again, this car does have a heat pump as standard. I still doubt it or the heat pump is not that efficient because well, at the moment we are stationary at, at the charger and the car is pulling 800 watts to heat up the cabin. But sometimes while driving, it can pull two kilowatts or three kilowatts. For a heat pump or for only a heat pump, that seems like quite a lot. So therefore I think in summer, yeah, 339 kilometers should be doable. So let's charge up and let's do the 130 kilometers per hour test. Okay, so the car has used a little bit more than 40% state of charge and on those 40% I have driven 90 kilometers. So if I do the math, you get a range of around 200 to 210 kilometers, which is not bad. I expected worse to be honest and that is well, the battery pack isn't huge. It's a normal size battery pack again around 
56 kilowatt hours of usable battery capacity and well this car isn't really shaped very aerodynamic so yeah i expected worse but 200 to 210 kilometers again not bad not bad at all the consumption at the moment is 30.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers that is quite a lot yeah all right, the results of the 130 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 80% state of charge and I finished the test with 18%. So that means I've used 62%. On those 62%, I have driven 125.2 kilometers. So if I do the calculation, you can do in these conditions. Again, dry roads, the temperature is between six and eight degrees Celsius. You can drive 202 kilometers which is better than i expected to be honest i expected around 180 because well this is not the most aerodynamic car in the world the consumption was 30.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers if i do the calculation of the battery capacity while driving 130 kilometers per hour then the available battery capacity is 60 kilowatt hours and when I do it when driving 90 kilometers per hour, the available battery capacity is around 54 kilowatt hours. That is a huge difference and it's probably not correct. So forget that I said it. <laughs> anyway, that was it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, well, please give a like. If you have something to say, please leave a comment. And it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.